it's Amber, and welcome to Hot Mess Yoga. What is your gut telling you? Well, we're going to find out on our mats today with a 30-minute belly ache flow. Be scared. Let's talk about props for a second. So, as always, recommended but not required, a set of blocks. If you don't have blocks at home, use decorative pillows, my personal favorite. Also, just for kicks, just for shits and giggles, option to use a foldable chair during our core series. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Just a little simple chair like this is you can lean back in as we lift our legs and do some fun stuff. All right, let's get started. We'll meet lying on our backs. My worst kept secret is that I love a starting class on my back. It's just my happy place. It gives me a moment to get grounded before we start moving. Option to bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly, and just take a few deep breaths. Feel your heart beat, feel your belly rise. My actors out there, sometimes I even love to do some lip drills on my exhale. So big breath in, lip drill out. Once you've taken at least three full breaths, close your knees together at the top. We'll meet in happy baby. You can grab for the pinky toe sides of your feet. Give your hamstrings a bit of love, but also option to grab for the backs of your knees. I also love doing this pose while keeping my eyes closed. So you choose what works best for you. When you're ready, pull your knees back center and let them both drop to the right side of the mat. Spread your arms out wide and work to feel your top oblique for eight seconds. Bring both of your hands behind your head and hold a basic crunch up. And then give me four crunches up, just four. Last three, just two, and one. Slowly bring your knees back center and let them drop towards the opposite side of the mat. Remember, feel your top oblique right away. Place your hands behind your head. Lift up, hold and hover for eight breaths. Just breathe, you count them out. Then when you're ready, four basic crunches. Take your time, squeeze as you crunch up. Starting to warm up our core and our belly nice and slow. Bring your legs back center, straighten both of your legs like legs up the wall. Place your palms where your hips are and do a few hip hops is what I call them. So corny, but that's the best name I can find for them. Lift your hips up high by engaging your low belly. Do at least eight, but you choose. Option to keep your shoulders grounded or slightly levitate your shoulders above your mat. Just breathe here. And when you're ready, grab for the backs of your thighs and rock and roll the length of your mat. We'll meet in boat pose. Once you're at the top in boat pose, point your toes forward. Lean back until you feel your core catch you before you fall. Work for a nice, long, tall spine here. Eight full counts. If it feels good, option for hands at heart center or even to lift your shins parallel to the ceiling. Let them levitate there. Just breathe. Cross your ankles in front of you. Come up to a nice tall seat. Place your palms on your knees. Bring your hands at heart center. Set your intention for class, strengthening your core, but really strengthening the foundation of who you are as a student. Place your hands on your knees. Take three seated cat cows. Make them really juicy and dramatic. Inhale, chest out, titties out. Exhale, round and curl. Inhale, out. Exhale, curl. After three cat cows and a few head and neck circles, make your way to tabletop. Find your tabletop here. Lengthen your right leg long and lengthen your left arm long. Place your hand behind your head and do four crunches, elbow to knee. Again, hug your low belly to your spine, round through your shoulder blades. Just breathe, keep your consistency. Inhale, reach, exhale, tabletop. Inhale, lengthen your left leg long. Reach forward with your right arm. Place your hand behind your head. Four crunches. Take it out and slowly crunch in. Just two. Final one. Inhale, reach out, lengthen long. Exhale, tabletop. Good work. I'm totally sweating already, so I'm sure you are as well. When you're ready, lower to your forearms. Let's build some more heat. Hold a strong forearm plank for eight seconds. Keep your gaze out in front. 
Again, hug your belly in. Dome through your shoulder blades. Work to lower your hips in line with your shoulders. Last breath here. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in, pedal out your dog, bend one knee, bend the other. Sometimes teachers like to think this is a resting pose. I totally don't think it is. This is a great warm up for your triceps and also for your legs. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, tiptoe to the top of your mat. Take your ragdoll pose any way you'd like. I always love a good juicy twist, grounding one palm in the center between my feet. Tuck your chin to your chest and slowly rise up for four counts. Like a mummy coming out of a coffin, lift your shoulders to your ears, shrug them down. Heel toe your feet close together to touch. Inhale, mountain pose, hands up high, pause and breathe. Ground through your heels, soft active bend in your knees. Push your hip flexors forward, breath here. Exhale, open arm twist right. Let your right fingertips go forward first, then back and around. We do this slowly to avoid our hips opening as we turn and twist open. Pull your right hip forward. Inhale, exalted mountain. Reach up with your front arm and place your back arm on your tailbone. Exhale, prayer twist. Pause and breathe here. Now right away, do what I like to call the knee check. Pull your left hip back in space so that your knees are in alignment with each other. The goal of this pose is to lift your heart higher than your hips. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, open arm twist left. Again, check in with your hips. Pull your left hip forward. Inhale, exalted mountain. Reach up and out of your right oblique. Exhale, prayer twist. Slowly lower and crunch all the way down. It's sort of like a standing crunch here. Remember, check in with your knees. Lift your heart, lengthen your spine. Inhale, mountain pose, hands high. Exhale, forward fold. Make it real sexy, juicy, stick out your booty. Inhale, halfway lift, shift your body weight forward. Maybe your heels slightly lift. Exhale, high plank, lower to forearm plank. Hold for another eight counts. Option to count with your fingers. That's what I'm doing here in the video to keep time. Just breathe and focus. Last breath here. Inhale, high plank, push away from the mat. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's test out that sun A one more time for good measure, yeah? Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, step to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, neutral spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, rise up. Exhale, open arm twist right, square your hips. Inhale, exalted mountain, reach up and out. Exhale, prayer twist, look, I'm so greasy sweaty, I love it. Inhale, mountain pose, hands high. Exhale, open arm twist left. Inhale, exalted mountain, reach, reach, reach up out of your right hip pocket. Exhale, prayer twist, come all the way down, check in with your knees. Inhale, mountain pose, reach high. Exhale, forward fold, bend in half. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank to forearm plank, your last isometric hold. If you want a little bit more, you can shift your heels forward and back forward and back just to add a little bit of movement you choose what feels best for you count those eight seconds or option to hold longer inhale high plank rise exhale downward facing dog take a breath in heels down on your breath out inhale lift your right leg high exhale twist and crunch your knee across your body let's take it twice more leg high exhale twist last one leg up Exhale, twist and crunch. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Take a big wide stance here for stability. Inhale, crescent lunge. Soft bend in your back knee. Rise up, pause and breathe. Bump your tailbone forward. Widen your stance like skiers here. So pull back with your right heel, forward with your left. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, open arm twist right, just like your son A. Inhale, exalted warrior. Reach up with your front palm. Exhale, revolved crescent lunge. Hook your elbow to your knee. You can also take a knee here with your back knee. Just breathe and twist, lengthen your spine. Inhale, crescent, hardest transition ever. See, I almost fell. Exhale, warrior two. Ha! Ah, spin your back heel down. Open your inner thighs. Breathe here, deepening your front knee. 
Inhale, reverse triangle, reach up and out. Exhale, extended side angle. Option to rest your forearm to your thigh or let your fingers fly, reaching up at north and south. Activate your top oblique. Inhale, reaching extended side angle. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, one-legged high plank hover. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Oh, mama. Let's get into that second side. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, twist your knee across your body, cat pose in your spine. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, twist and crunch for two. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, last one. Hug your knee in. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step forward, widen your stance. Inhale, crescent lunge, soft bend, tuck and rise. Stack your shoulders on top of your hips, wrap your biceps in. Exhale, open arm twist, left, left fingers come forward, then back and around. This will force your hips to stay forward. Squeeze your right butt cheek. Inhale, exalted mountain, reach up, reach high. Exhale, revolved crescent lunge, hook your elbow to your knee, lift your chest. Work to lift your belly off your thigh, even though we know that's not gonna happen. Inhale, crescent lunge, reach up. Exhale, warrior two, option to widen your stance. Pull your front hip point back in space. Inhale, reverse triangle, lift up high. Exhale, extended side angle, reach forward. You choose your arms, they can float or you can rest. Just fire up your top oblique. Inhale, reaching extended side angle. Lift your fingers past your head. Exhale, low lunge. Bring your palms to frame your foot. Inhale, hovering one-legged high plank. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Find a breath out. Let's flow and add on. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, crunch for three. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, leg high, look forward. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge, rise up. Exhale, open arm twist. Inhale, exalted warrior, listen. Exhale, hands at heart center, slowly lower and lift. Nice, elbow to knee. Really squeeze with your belly. This drill is working your obliques. Give me at least eight here, just breathe. Keep your back ankle stacked like you're wearing like a stiletto heel in that back foot. Final two and one. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, bring your hands behind your back. Crunch down and up. Nice, lower and lift. Keep your crunches slow and controlled. We're in no rush. Open your elbows so wide you can't see them. Breathe. Last four, just three, final two, and one. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reaching extended side angle. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, hovering one-legged high plank. Exhale, right knee outside of your right elbow. Final two, and one. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Whoo, y'all. Now lift your left leg high. Exhale, twisting crunch for three. Inhale, leg high. Hug your belly to your back. Exhale, twist and crunch. Inhale, leg up high. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, low lunge, look forward. Inhale, crescent lunge, soft bend, rise up, hands high. Exhale, open arm twist. Inhale, exalted mountain reach. Exhale, hands at heart center. Tap your elbow to your knee, down and up. Nice, lower and lift. Work to keep your elbows out wide. Remember, nice tall spine as you crunch and lower down. Just four and up. Last three, squeeze your right butt cheek. Last two, final one. Inhale, crescent lunge, hands high. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, hands behind your head. Crunch down and up. So you're working every part of your belly, every part of your obliques here today. Just breathe, smile and grin through it. As I'm, you can see I'm smiling here, but you see that sweat dripping. It's not a game. Lower and lift. Nice. Exhale, 
Inhale, last four, as you can, here for three. Almost there, last two, and one. Inhale, reverse triangle, reach up. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reaching. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, hover your foot. Exhale, crunch out. Out, crunch for two. Just one. Inhale, knee to nose, left leg lifts. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, come down to a seat. Chill out, get some water, towel off, and find that foldable chair because you know what's coming. Set up your foldable chair in the back of your mat. If you don't have a foldable chair at home, your option to lower to the mat and you'll just do a high boat. You see I'm kind of struggling to lean back because my chair's there, but you get the picture. High boat. When you're ready, grip the back of your chair, scoop forward towards the front of your chair and lean back. Hover your legs above the mat. See how that feels. We'll start with V's out and in. Lean all the way back. Want a little bit more of a challenge? Reach your arms up high towards the sky. Ooh, the struggle. I can only demo about four of these because I'm not there yet. So again, option for hands to the back of your Squeeze your belly. Your belly is what's gonna keep your legs lifted here. You're just here for last three. Gaze up for two. Ground your heels in one. Breathe, heels to the mat. Maybe take a seated cat cow. And then when you're ready, lean back, get to it. We'll start with some egg beaters. So point your toes forward and scissor your legs over and under. Nice, over, under. Just breathe. Remember, find a focal point to keep your consistency. You're just here for three, two, one. Ah, take another nice, gentle break. We love breaks. If you wanna keep going through these breaks, you go for it, but I need, need, need a break. When you're ready, come back to your seat, knees in and out, almost like flash dance here. Act like you want your knees to touch your eyebrows here. In and out, hug your knees and then kick your legs out. Work to point your toes here to keep your legs active. In and out, squeeze your belly. Four and lengthen, three, gaze up, last two and out, last one. Nice. Ground your heels. I'm like, I'm, I'm completely spent after that last drill. But guess what? I got a little bit more for you. Go ahead and grab one of those blocks out in front or your water bottle and place that block in between your feet. Now we'll start with rainbows. Tap your toes on top of your block. So lean back over and under. Remember, option for hands at heart center or option for hands up high towards the sky. Tap and lower, tap and lower. Just breathe and focus on your core. Remember, this is the belly ache flow. So work your belly. Last four, three, two, one. Ah, <sighs> thank God. All right, listen up, I promise. Last drill with your chair. Bring your palms forward just like a high plank. Meet in tabletop, take a simple cat cow here for your spine, your back core. And then when you're ready, we'll meet in a high plank. Stack your toes on top of your chair. You may have to adjust your chair like you see I had to do in my video. Ground your palms. Once you find balance here in your elevated high plank, slowly start with mountain climbers. Bring your knee outside of your elbow. Nice, forward and back. It's so important that we do belly up and belly down core when we're working our abs. So just breathe here, push through. Last four, three, final two, and one. <sighs> come back to your breath. Option to come down and sit on your knees, one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Squeeze through your obliques. Just breathe. Keep your gaze down in front. All right, friends, it's time to cool down a bit. Put your foldable chair away and find a nice tall seat. Lengthen your left leg out long and bend your right knee in. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, twist and fold to your left leg. Roll your shoulders out of your ears like a turtle coming out of a shell. Pull your left hip point back. 
breathe and be still. Two breaths here. Slowly come back up. And you're going to swing your left leg all the way back and around for your half pigeon. Take your time. Inhale, sit up tall. Maybe listen to a few back pops. Exhale, fold forward. Notice if you're shifting weight in your right hip, share a bit of love with the left side. Reach forward with your palms. Just be still. We're on your time now. Two breaths. Slowly walk your palms back towards your shin. Sit up tall one last time. And then slowly kick your left leg forward and around. Let's repeat on the other side. Lengthen your right leg long. Fold your left knee in. Look at the cooch sweat. Oh, it's, it's here. We have arrived. Inhale, mountain in your arms. Exhale, twist and fold. Exhale, twist and fold. It's so important that we do these forward folds because as we work our core, our back core is what I call it, is working as well. So we'll find balance in these counter stretch poses. Breathe, chin forward, and walk your palms back. Kick your leg all the way up and over. Set up for your traditional half pigeon. Take a breath in here, sit up tall, pull your right quad forward. Exhale, rest your half pigeon to sleep. Palms down for grounding or up for energy, you choose. The rumbling you hear is the sound of my hungry stomach. Yes, that is true. Last breath here. Walk your palms back to your shin. And lengthen both legs out long in front of you. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, seated forward fold, Paschimottanasana. Just fold in half, because after this, you know you're coming onto your spine to relax. When you're ready, bend your knees, bump your hips forward, lower all the way down. Revisit that very first happy baby pose of class that you took. Remember when you were less sweaty and less tired? That one. Lengthen one leg long and then the other. When you're ready, hug your right knee to your chest. Let your left leg go long. Take a breath here. Exhale, supine twist. Remember when I was talking about your back core earlier? Yeah, be sure to ring out your spine with these final twists of class. Give your right knee one last hug. And then let it go long. Inhale, lift your left knee to your chest. Exhale, supine twist. Hands to a T or goal post your arms, whatever feels most comfortable to you. Last breath here. Exhale, come back center. Hug your left knee in, bring your right knee in. Squeeze into a cute little egg, breath here. Exhale, Shavasana. Let your legs and arms fly out wide. I've left time here so you can take a Shavasana for three to five minutes. So you better take it. Don't you dare skip it. Well, y'all, we did it. Thank you so much for allowing me to let you have a bellyache today on your mats. Again, my name is Amber with Hot Mess Yoga. And if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like and subscribe below. Namaste, y'all.